In this video, we're going to be looking at the three fundamental ways of navigating 3D space in Blender. These methods are orbiting, zooming, and panning. To orbit your view, hover your mouse over the 3D viewport. Then press down on the middle mouse button. By holding down a middle mouse button and moving your mouse, you can begin to orbit around your scene. You will orbit around a point of reference, which by default is going to be at the center of the scene or the coordinates of 0, 0, 0 on the X, Y and Z axes. An alternative way of navigating the 3D viewport is to use the interactive axis. This is located in the top corner of the 3D viewport. If you hover your mouse cursor over the interactive axis, you will see that it becomes highlighted. If we left click and drag with our cursor inside this circle, we can navigate around our 3D viewport via orbiting. So we can use the middle mouse button in the viewport itself, or we can use the left mouse button while in the interactive axis. The second method of navigation is zooming. There are three ways in which we can zoom in and out of our objects. The first method is to use the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you scroll forward, you will zoom in to the center of your scene or your point of reference. If you scroll back, you will zoom out. Alternatively, we can also use what is known as a dolly zoom. Press the control key on your keyboard, then press the middle mouse button, and then move your mouse forward. This allows you to zoom in and out of your objects. You can perform a dolly zoom by also going to the side of the 3D viewport here and under the interactive axis you will have a button that looks like a magnifying glass. This uses the same function, left click and move forward to zoom in and backwards to zoom out. These are the three main methods for zooming. The third method is to pan or move our view. We can do this in the 3D viewport by holding down the shift key on our keyboard, then hold down the middle mouse button, and then move our mouse. We can move it left and right, down and up. We can move it in different directions, but it is based on a two-dimensional perspective. Alternatively, we can also use the Move tool, which is located here below the Zoom tool. Again, just left-click and then begin moving your mouse so that you can pan at the view in your viewport. Panning is one method of changing the point of reference, which impacts your zooming and orbiting ability. For example, if we use the move tool to move the view over here, then we zoom in with the scroll wheel, you can see we are no longer scrolling towards the center. If you want to change your method of zooming, back to the center of the viewport, there are a couple of ways in which you can do this. One method is to select an object that is located at the center, which we have here, and then go to view and choose frame selected. You can also use the period key on your number pad. Left click and you will zoom in on that object. Now we can orbit and zoom based on the object that we selected. Another method is to use the 3D cursor. Again, I'm just going to move my view over here 
and then I'm going to go view align view and here I can center the view to wherever my 3d cursor is so left click and it centers the view towards the 3d cursor which is located at the coordinates of 0 0 0 if your 3d cursor is not in this position so say if you have moved it which I've just done you can press the N key to bring up the side panel underneath the view tab you can go to 3d cursor and reset your location and rotation values the location values are more important here so we can click and drag down to select all three axes press 0 and then press enter this resets the 3d cursor back to the center of our scene these are the fundamental methods of being able to navigate 3d space in blender